Clear prop. gentlemen and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association even on this cold January day. We talked the other day about fretting and when you take a part off your airplane and in this case we have the cowling off of a, a Tiger. What we're looking at here is we've got some fretting in the rivets and that's something to make a note of and as we look down the cowling we also see that we have some fretting where a crack was there and there's a doubler on there and we have to go back and now we'll have to examine to see it looks like one side was riveted and the other side was not, so we may have to fix that. But what's really important is when you take a piece off your airplane is that you thoroughly examine it and make notes of what you see. And then we'll talk about why. Now, we have the cowling on the floor, and as we get right here, we see a blue stain. Now, the exit ramps on this airplane are painted white, and anytime we paint an airplane, we always paint the inside of the cowling white. Oil will show up very well against white, as will the blue from 100 low lead. So we have blue 100 low lead on the co-pilot side near where the boot is. Well, the only place this is going to come from is the carburetor, which would be back here on the engine. We're going to go look at that real quick. we got to find out where's that blue stain coming from. So we come over to the engine and the only part of the carburetor that could leak to do that is not happening up there. That's just oil on the bottom of the carburetor. So the carburetor is not leaking. So let's take a look at the induction tubes. Oh goodness. And the first thing we see is we have an induction clamp not even on the tube. And sure enough there is blue stain underneath it. So we're going to be putting this back on the airplane and tightening back up that's an intake leak we're also going to check that tube and make sure so you're probably having cylinder number three running lean i think we just found out why cylinder number three was running a little hotter than the others so we'll check all the induction tubes but again it's why it's very important when you're working on your airplane that as you take things off you look at the patterns of wear you look at fluids and any other things that can tell you what might be going on in your aircraft so we hope you found this informative uh, it's terribly embarrassing when something like that is found by another shop. We'll mention it to the owner. We hope you found this useful. Take a good look at your airplane and by all means have fun flying your Grumman. Thanks for watching.